his mother, I thought his mother had passed away by that stage. Um, I've got great brothers and sisters and <laughs> nieces and nephews to boot, like, you know, they just get better and better as they progress. And I thought to myself, why would he want some of these teenies older than him? The shakali doesn't really know my age. He looked like a baby face. Still does, by the way. And I thought, you know what? The timing wasn't right. When I first met him, Nolan wasn't established in his career to quote him. I hope I'm saying that right. I was like, shit, I don't my brain. Like, yeah, my name's your new, I'm just a rap in Australia. I'm so jet lagged. I was acting goofy. I can't make him goofy now. That's another topic. Now, you know, we grew up, when it was suggested to us, Nolan could have said, or I could have said, both of us could have said to the matchmaker, you know what? We know each other. Don't set us up. It, it, it's not going to work. I know him from the absorption center, he knows me. We've got mutual friends on Facebook. So to say, they're good in his household. He, he, it's, it's not going to work. We know each other. Okay. I'm going to say one terribly blunt thing. Okay? And forgive me. Stop that thought. Did everyone hear me? Good, because I can't show my voice anymore. Stop that thought. I don't care if you know him from before. That has worked to our advantage from the time we met in the absorption center until we're 120. Okay, that has really, really, really helped us. You never know where your best shirt is gonna come from. You never know. It could be you, you walk out of this talk and you're crossing the road and you're like, oh, oh, oh where have you been all my life? Trust me, I won't be saying that. But some of the symbols mark, okay? You might be saying, but it's all about the timing. It's all about the timing. I mean, for crying out loud, I was in the New Shalane in part of the swamp area, the Katamonim. I upgraded to Katamonim, you know? And no one was living like not far off where my brothers lived. But it was the timing, um, ladies and gentlemen, if they're listening to this on YouTube. Now, we were raised, God bless my father, okay? God bless him. He had a mentor business in Australia and he always said, take part of your parents. Take pride. And I'm sure the sisters and all the nieces and nephews have they've jumped into them like probably from before they could walk and or talk. Take pride in your parents. Uh, I think it was Lynn Myers just this Shabbat said to me, a shit of profile, your photo is your first date. I can't remember. Someone said it to me on the for sure. And I apologize if I've got the naming wrong. But you know what? First impressions count. To this day, I Got no idea why Nolan still is happily married to me. If first impressions count. But first impressions kind of for you, babe, that's for sure. Now, you know what, if you just say I'm going out when we're getting married, I was, uh, when I was getting married on our first day, I got dressed. And I was like, I'll put this top. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a stain in my top. I can't wear that. Because if I can see the stain, chances are the person opposite me is going to be able to see the stain. Do you agree? Now I can see if Nolan's got a stain or if he doesn't have a stain, don't worry, you're just beautifully, as always. But you know what? You can see the person opposite you. Take pride in your appearance. Please. When I used to look like, straight in my hair. I used to put on makeup. I used to, obviously it didn't work until I met Nolan, but take pride because you never, never, never know. Okay? And also, my dad's golden rule. Never give up. Never. You might have the days, how many times I cry on Hannah's shoulders, like, Hannah, I'm never going to find. Well, is me. I'm never going to find. And Hannah, of course, he said, Postro! I'm never going to find. I'm never going to find. And then she'll be, stop that attitude. I'm like, oh gosh, she really is a mummy figure. <laughs> You've got to have a positive attitude. No one likes being around people who are negative and bitter. Again, my dad's God and rule. God bless him. Don't fetch it by too long at work. Even if you're miserable at work. Don't worry if my boss is watching this. I'm very happy at work, I've got to admit. But don't say, oh, this isn't going to work and that's not going to work and, and, and the bill's got to come in and then. No one's going to listen. No one. Except hopefully your family. <laughs> right, ladies? Um, but jokes aside, like, you want people to. Be around someone who's happy and happy. It, it, it's, it's hard. Mm. Believe me, being there, done that, putting on a brand face, you're like, oh, is this going to go? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. You never know. But I, 
can guarantee you, I can guarantee you saying it's tonight, Monday 29th of May, if I'm not mistaken, as, but I've got the day card and the day, as honest as today is today, if you're going to be negative, chances are the guy is not going to be attractive. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be attractive. Okay? I don't want to speak on verbal for men because I've already got verbal bashing class and it's for the men. Okay? Um, and also tell friends and family you're actively looking for a shitter. You don't have to walk around with a billboard like, Hi, my name is and I'm looking for a shitter. Phone 1 800 farm time, you know? <laughs> no one wants that. <laughs> But that might go, oh gosh, I don't want to really say But she's positive, but she's a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> uh, just tell friends, tell them, you never know what's going to happen. Okay, you never. Oh, I didn't. Um, it's also, like, I must be honest, it was very hard. Okay, the harder, the older I got, the harder it was, the more from the breakfast, yada, yada, yada. But you know what? My sisters in law were very lucky. They got married at a very young age. I'm not going to say their age because then you'll look at how old I am and then you'll do the maths and carry the four. <laughs> but in all honesty, it was very hard. I was like, oh my gosh, here I am. Nice I'm not married. What's wrong with me? God, yeah, you know, remember me? You know, Renate Barton, yeah, okay. But you know what? Think how much I've achieved professionally. Think how much I've achieved personally. Yeah, personally, I'm still working on my personality, but professionally, look how much I've achieved. I moved halfway around the world to find my ship. It took a jolly long time, but we, we got there. We got there in the end. And you know what? Pay it forward. Pay it forward. What does that mean? It's not the famous movie with Haley Joel Osman, so I mentioned Hollywood in this household. But you know what? Pay it forward. You might have a sheer potential in your life. What's the shark I'm thinking? He's 75 and I'm only 25. He's on up to be my great, great, great grandfather. What? Pay it forward. You never know, someone else might be in that room. Might be an old age home. <laughs> you never know. It's worth trying. That's what I believe. I'm nearly finished. I mentioned that by having a positive outlook, not to be bitter, not to be negative. Okay, my friends. Well, friends are up now, right? Yeah, friends, family, acquaintances. Okay. Um, I think it's very, very, very important to see your dates in different situations. Okay? You have to see them in different situations. You can't just go, let's go to the movies. Let's go to the movies. Let's go to the movies. Why are you going to talk? In the, in the ad breaks? Amen. Um, it's also important like, to see them in other situations. Like, I know people who did just the movie days, the coffee days, the this day, the same, 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 and have been married. Okay, but you want to see them in different situations. You want to see how they interact with other people. Okay? Like, I could be like, hey, Hasya, how's it going? You doing good? And then the guy could come and go, hey, witch, what are you up to? <laughs> I would not marry him. <laughs> good, good. And also not me, because remember, I was too fussy. Yeah. See how they interact with other people. Because it gives you a gauge. How they are with their family. Mm -hmm. Are they a mensch? Okay, you all know what is like, someone who's got good character. Okay, you don't want someone who's, you know, they're nice to your face, and then the second you turn around, it's all one big act. Okay, we're not up for the Oscars, we're not up for the Golden Globes, we're up to someone who is true. Okay? And um, we're living in the 21st century. Okay, I'm doing a bit of a quick glance. Um, we're glued to our phones. Except for Shabbat, we are glued to our phones. Okay, I'll admit. When Nolan and I went out, the only time my phone was on was before we met. In case he got, he couldn't find the directions or in case he was running like, well, leave me without wearing a watch, he was more punctual than me. Mm -hmm. So we can't figure that one out. Put your phone away. Put your phone away. Mm -hmm. It's the 21st century, but I don't care. You don't need the phone. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to be rescued from your best friend because he's a 75-year-old 
Tom, wil jy skryf van die oude heid aan? Dan kom my, wil my van boeie opgevang met nalle. But the thing is, turn you van op, engage in your date a hundred percent. Like I'm trying to engage in you all a hundred percent, maybe ten percent, ten percent. Engage in them. Eye contact. Not go like, oh I'm bored, I'll play this game. I'll, I'll play solitaire because he's in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, everything's fine, honey. I just, I just want to engage in him. Give him the respect he deserves and he'll give you back. I promise you. Lean at it. Um, okay, first impressions come. Now, I, I've moved from Sydney to Melbourne, as we all find out. It's not a long drive. And a, a rabbi once told me in Melbourne, how do I see myself celebrating Shabbat? Am I going to find that on the first day? How we speak to the waitress? Oh, that's how I see you. That's we're going to celebrate Shabbat because we're going to have a waitress at our Shabbat home. No, we're not. How do you envision a future? Then? You're not going to do it on the first day. And I don't believe on the second day and the tenth day, you should have this, you should have that. You're not. It comes with time. You want to see if you have a kesha with person, you have a connection. Okay? You want to be on the same path. You really want to be in the same path. Now, the thing is, you know, like, I wasn't 20, 21, I wasn't 30, 31 when I got married, but I wanted someone who was more or less on the same path as me. I don't want to be, you know, like, wearing the mini skirts, trust me, I never did that. You know, I had the legs apparently. Wearing the mini skirt, the shirt rolled up to you, with a tattoo, Mama don't love me. And you're going out with the guys with the black hat and a shrine, and all the same. Mama used to know, la la zero, call all over, you know. You have to be on the same path. Do you agree? Yeah. Good. Audience participation. Tip. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, it, it's all great advice. Okay. My dad, God bless him again. I hope you're watching this other. Marry Jewish. Marry Jewish. I'm sure everyone in the audience is Jewish, or whatever the part may be, or you become, or whatever it is, you're Jewish. My dad said you have to marry Jewish. Yeah, but the older I got, the harder it was getting. I didn't want to marry a 75 year old. No, none of them were even cute. You know, even when they're false teeth in the day, I thought, wasn't attractive. Sorry, guys. But you have to be on the same path. So there's a famous Jewish book. Um, I'm sure some of you have heard of it. It's called Why Marry Jewish by Doron Kornbluth. It's put out by Aish. I'm sure it's in the NC Library. Um, <laughs> Um, it's a very famous book, nothing to make for bad pasta, you did great for summits. Mm. Um, but you know what, I don't believe in that book. Oh, controversy. Why don't I believe in that book? I think it should be called, Why Should I Marry Someone Who's On The Same Path As Me? Okay, it should be the same path as me. I knew for me, he had to be Shaman Shabbat. I wasn't going to compromise. And he had to be? Male, very good. <laughs> If there's not on the same page, what's the point? You know, it, like I said, come with their tattoos and Mama don't love me. And he's got the strong one that pays down to his puppy, his belly button, you know? Now, there's a, there's going to be a lot of sins. There's going to be sins, let's admit it. People are going to make fun of me. Ha <laughs> ha, you're so wrong. Rabbi Akiva only started learning, you know, in, in the yeshiva at the age of 40. But you know what? Unless you're very patient. Or unless you're still young enough to grow together, Go for it. I give you my bracha. Okay? Now there's no secret to a happy marriage. Okay? I've asked my sisters now many times. I said there's no secret. If there is, this is recording. Do not tell me now because I'll embarrass myself. <laughs> Maybe there's a talk now that lined up. The secrets to a happy marriage. But I can tell you two golden rules. One, respect each other. Very important. Two, Never go to bed upset with the other one. It's also too important to remember when you finally get to the end goal, and you will get there with Hashem's help. Remember them, okay? You're marrying the person, okay? The wedding is one day. One day. Marry is hopefully enough. Pray, and I hope you all pray. It is for life. It's not just for one day, ladies and ladies. Okay? Gentlemen, filming. Happy wife, happy life. Now, last page. Have you all 
of a of the term acrostic. Great. Acrostic term? Yeah. It's like the word smile and every word has a thing. So we're gonna do the word smile. S. Smile like your life depends on it. Okay? M. Make sure to be true to yourself. No one else. I. I will not give up. L. Love can happen in the least expected way. E. Everyone deserves to find their vision. Everyone. Okay, except those who are married. Now I want to get back to how we started off the talk tonight about the pots. Okay? Now I'm sure most of you, you're not going to remember what I said next week, next month, tomorrow, when you get home to your families, your flatmates. You're not going to remember what I spoke about. Naughty, naughty, naughty. But why did I do these pots, these containers? To remind my husband when you buy more coffee? Yeah? I don't drink coffee. So to ask coffee when I'm on a lactose free binge. You know why? Every bottle has a lid. Every bottle has a lid. Okay? You will find your bachet. And if you do and you're still happily married, your kids, your grandkids, they will find the pot to their feet. Now before I conclude, um, I want to thank you all very much firstly for joining. And Nolan, is a, my husband, is a very talented songwriter. This is also a plug for him. I would like to just play you a song that he wrote in the hope that this will give you a chizzle because before I play the song, I will do it, I find it honey. I hope and I pray that all of you who are not married, you will find your Bechef very soon. You will find your baby. And without further ado, I'm going to press play. Yeah. 
up. If anyone has any questions, comments, feedback, 